Dennis Hobel's Hallam is a fucking coward. Denied. Recently, Darth Vader Dark Visions issue number three was published. It featured a nameless female character who was in love with Darth Vader. I wasn't going to make a video about the issue because, well, frankly, I hated the issue for a variety of reasons. Namely that it just seems to be about hating women who want to fuck Darth Vader. And maybe I'm biased because I want to fuck Darth Vader. As I said, the protag is nameless, which is already a red flag for me. They frame her interest in power fantasies regarding Vader as deranged when she has very normal power fantasies about him. These power fantasies are fueled by her need to escape her emotionally abusive boss and a situation where she has no control over her life. She collects items of his that he drops or leaves behind, which is admittedly pretty creepy. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? But she's not the only Star Wars characters to collect things of Vader's to feed their admiration of him. She's just the only one to be female. After her boss walks in on her dancing with Vader's cape and finds her collection of Vader's things, her boss throws her things out, causing her to become desperate as she jumps into the garbage to salvage her things. She can't find them, and she does something that I agree is really creepy, but it did not have to be written like this. Our nameless throwaway character breaks into Vader's quarters and sees him without his mask off. She tells him, that she finds him beautiful without the mask. Without a word, he brutally kills her, then requests that our nameless throwaway character be literally thrown out, saying, remove this garbage. Again, it didn't have to be written this way. As one of my favorite YouTubers, Jenny Nicholson, pointed out on Twitter, we already knew that Vader was redeemable. It wasn't a fruitless concept. We have already seen him in the comics, legend and canon, show mercy and even respect to those who show courage. So. Even if in the end they didn't want Vader to have a romantic relationship with this character, they could have had something where she takes control of her abusive situation and in her admiration of Vader starts to emulate his coldness and, I don't know, maybe murders her shitty abusive boss and Vader is like, wow, I respect that. I too know what it's like to have a shitty abusive boss and the courage to stand up to him even though he scares the piss out of you. Promoted! Honestly, there are so many different ways that this could have ended. At Dark London Art drew a much better rejection from Vader to our character than a lightsaber through this poor girl's chest. It could have been like this. It could have been about a character who, despite rejection, grows and becomes truly interesting and a fun character, and maybe even a platonic friend to Vader. Because at his core, Vader is lonely, and even though he would never admit it, he does seek and crave comfort, even if it's platonic. That's part of being human. And Vader, as much as he wants to deny that he is no longer human, is still human deep down in his core. This could have been the start to his path of redemption. I watched too many of my favorite Star Wars accounts describe this comic as funny, much to my chagrin. I didn't find it very funny. I thought it was very insulting, especially to female fans. And personally, I think it's a really bad idea to alienate part of your fandom. Girls don't want boys, girls want tall murder cyborgs with space magic.